This is the key English test. Paper 2. Listening. Test number 3. There are five parts to the test. Parts 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Look at the instructions for part 1. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. When's the school trip? Are you going to go on the school trip, Maria? Yes, I am. It's on Wednesday, isn't it? No, on Thursday. The bus leaves at 11 o'clock. The answer is Thursday. So there is a tick in box C. Now we're ready to start. Look at question one. One. Where's the sports centre? Excuse me, is the sports centre near here? Yes, it's about ten minutes' walk. Go past the bank and take the second road on the left. It's on the corner. Thanks very much. Now listen again. Excuse me, is the sports centre near here? Yes, it's about ten minutes' walk. Go past the bank and take the second road on the left. It's on the corner. Thanks very much. Two. How much petrol does the woman want? Could you put 30 litres of petrol in my car, please? Uh, did you say 13 litres? No, 30 litres. Fill it up, please. Now listen again. Could you put 30 litres of petrol in my car, please? Uh, did you say 13 litres? No, 30 litres. Fill it up, please. Three. Which table do they buy? Look, this round table is very nice. Yes, but it's made of plastic. It's only got three legs. Do you want one with four legs? Yes. Look, here's a square one. Let's have this. OK. Now listen again. Look, this round table is very nice. Yes, but it's made of plastic. It's only got three legs. Do you want one with four legs? Yes. Look, here's a square one. Let's have this. OK. Four. What time does the class start? Are you going to the English class this afternoon, Susan? Yes. It's at three o'clock, isn't it? Two o'clock? I've got to go to the dentist's at half past two, so I can't go. Don't worry. I'll get the homework for you. Now listen again. Are you going to the English class this afternoon, Susan? Yes. It's at three o'clock, isn't it? Two o'clock? I've got to go to the dentist's at half past two, so I can't go. Don't worry. I'll get the homework for you. Five. What was the weather like on Emma's holiday? Did you enjoy your holiday in Australia, Emma? Yes. 
but it was wet most of the time. Really? Isn't it always hot in Australia? Hmm, not when I was there. Now listen again. Did you enjoy your holiday in Australia, Emma? Yes, but it was wet most of the time. Really? Isn't it always hot in Australia? Hmm, not when I was there. This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to Jane talking to a friend about some clothes that she has bought for her holiday. What colours are her clothes? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter, A to H, next to each of her clothes. You will hear the conversation twice. Hi, Jane. Have you been shopping? Yes. I bought some clothes, but I think I've got too many different colours. Well, that's a nice white shirt. You can wear that with any colour. Yes. I bought it in the same shop as this dress. Let me see. Oh, yes. What a lovely green. And have you bought a jacket to go with it? Yes. It was difficult to find one. But I finally got this dark brown one. Oh, yes, that's very nice. Did you buy anything else? Well, I need a new sweater. I always wear this red one, and it's so old now. So I bought this one. Hmm, orange. That's an unusual colour. Yes. I also bought a coat and some shoes. You have been busy. Yes. The coat was a bit expensive. Do you like it? Oh, yes. You look good in black. And those new black shoes look great with the coat. Well, actually, they're dark blue, not black. Now listen again. Hi, Jane. Have you been shopping? Yes. I bought some clothes. But I think I've got too many different colours. Well, that's a nice white shirt. You can wear that with any colour. Yes. I bought it in the same shop as this dress. Let me see. Oh, yes. What a lovely green. And have you bought a jacket to go with it? Yes. It was difficult to find one. But I finally got this dark brown one. Oh, yes. That's very nice. Did you buy anything else? Well, I need a new sweater. I always wear this red one, and it's so old now. So I bought this one. Hmm, orange. That's an unusual colour. Yes. I also bought a coat and some shoes. You have been busy. Yes. The coat was a bit expensive. Do you like it? Oh, yes. You look good in black. And those new black shoes look great with the coat. Well, actually, they're dark blue, not black. This is the end of part two. Now look at part three. Listen to Mrs. Lee talking to her secretary about her business trip. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds.
Now listen to the conversation. So, tell me about my trip to Europe. Will I leave on Saturday or Sunday? I've booked your ticket for Saturday, Mrs. Lee. Let me see, that's... the 11th. And your plane leaves at 10 a.m. So I'll get to the airport at about 8? Yes. And you'll arrive in London at 11.50. You won't stop in Frankfurt this time. Mr. Porter from our Amsterdam office will arrive at about the same time, so you can go together to your meeting at the factory. No time to go to the hotel, I'm afraid. OK. And after the meeting? You'll have the afternoon free. Then, in the evening, you'll meet Jane and Peter Cook. Is that at their home? Not this time. You're going to meet in a Japanese restaurant near your hotel. Then the next morning, you'll go to Paris on the train. Yes, that's better than flying again. Now listen again. So, tell me about my trip to Europe. Will I leave on Saturday or Sunday? I've booked your ticket for Saturday, Mrs. Lee. Let me see, that's... the 11th, and your plane leaves at 10 a.m. So I'll get to the airport at about 8? Yes, and you'll arrive in London at 11.50. You won't stop in Frankfurt this time. Mr. Porter from our Amsterdam office will arrive at about the same time, so you can go together to your meeting at the factory. No time to go to the hotel, I'm afraid. OK. And after the meeting? You'll have the afternoon free. Then, in the evening, you'll meet Jane and Peter Cook. Is that at their home? Not this time. You're going to meet in a Japanese restaurant near your hotel. Then, the next morning, you'll go to Paris on the train. Yes, that's better than flying again. This is the end of part three. Now look at part four. Listen to a man asking for some information about a language school. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Hello, School of Italian Studies. Hello. I saw your advertisement in the newspaper. Can you give me some information, please? Yes, of course. What would you like to know? Well, first, how long are the courses? They're six or nine months long, and the next courses begin next Monday. How many students will there be in the class? Not too many, I hope. Usually, there are about 15. We find that a good number. OK. Now, I saw the price of the course in the newspaper, but will I have to pay for anything else? Only for the course book, which costs £12.99. I see. When can I come and pay? Well, the school is open 8 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday to Friday, and on Saturdays from 9 to 1. OK. And one more question. What's the nearest underground station to your school? It's Green Park. Green Park. I see. Well, thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now listen again. Hello. School of Italian Studies. Hello. I saw your advertisement in the newspaper. Can you give me some information, please? Yes, of course. What would you like to know? Well, first, how long are the courses? They're six or nine months long, and the next courses begin next Monday. How many students will there be in the class? Not too many, I hope. Usually, there are about 15. We find that a good number. OK. 
Now, I saw the price of the course in the newspaper, but will I have to pay for anything else? Only for the course book, which costs £12.99. I see. When can I come and pay? Well, the school is open 8am to 7pm, Monday to Friday, and on Saturdays from 9 to 1. OK. And one more question. What's the nearest underground station to your school? It's Green Park. Green Park. I see. Well, thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. This is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear a man talking about a day trip. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. Hello, everybody. Hello. Tomorrow, we're all going on a coach trip to Lake Tandy. And I'd just like to give you some information about the trip. We'll be leaving here at 9.30 in the morning. It's a seven-hour trip, so we'll be back at half past four. We're going to visit three places. The first one is a castle. This was built 600 years ago, and it is very interesting. After that, we will stop at a cafe for lunch at one o'clock. We'll stay there about three quarters of an hour. We will then drive on to our third stop. It will be at a beach, and if you like, you can swim there, or just sit in the sun and look at the scenery. The lake is very beautiful, and there are lots of birds there. So remember to take a camera. I'm sure you'll be able to take some excellent photographs. Mm. Now listen again. Hello, everybody. Hello. Tomorrow we're all going on a coach trip to Lake Tandy, and I'd just like to give you some information about the trip. We'll be leaving here at 9.30 in the morning. It's a seven-hour trip, so we'll be back at half past four. We're going to visit three places. The first one is a castle. This was built 600 years ago, and it is very interesting. After that, we will stop at a cafe for lunch at one o'clock. We'll stay there about three quarters of an hour. We will then drive on to our third stop. It will be at a beach, and if you like, you can swim there, or just sit in the sun and look at the scenery. Ooh, the lake is very beautiful, and there are lots of birds there. So remember to take a camera. I'm sure you'll be able to take some excellent photographs. This is the end of part five.